Okay, so today we are going to make a video of how to assemble a rudder. Jumped in as we're using snap swivel pieces and the hairpin clips to attach the metal rods onto the actual rudder blade. This is, of course, first time assembly straight out of the bags, so next time you won't have to work quite so hard actually attaching the lines. Okay. Perfect, nice and easy. Now we're actually going to attach the rudder blade to the boat. We're working with a Greenland 2 here today in beautiful Charleston, South Carolina. The foam piece that Eric is adding now is where your rudder will sit when you pull it up on the boat. That's just to protect the deck fabric of your kayak. Now, I'm going to be honest, it's not the easiest thing to get the rudder blade back into the water, so only pull it completely up on deck when you're coming into shore or when you're completely done using it. Not impossible, but as you can see, it's, it's a little bit of a reach for the person who's sitting in the back. We're just snapping that right into the rudder block frame, and we use a hairpin clip on the bottom to hold it into place there on the rudder mount. We've got our blade assembled. We're going to attach the lines throughout the kayak. Now in the older days there was a rubber tube system through these holes in the washboards, but the way we cut the holes in the line that we use, you don't actually need those pieces anymore. Less pieces, much easier. Eric just ran the line through this little eyelet that's attached to your cross frame. What we're going to do next is attach the foot pedal post. These little snap buttons allow the posts to come in and out really easily. This white foot peg is uh, white teeth. We actually make this here. We cut it in the factory, just like everything else we make. Kind of a cool fact. We'll pull the lines up, clip them in with the clam pleats. Rudder assembled. As you can now note, the person in the back has to do all the work. So make sure you draw straws and you sit in the front. This one will go on the... We've got one last piece to add. This is the string that you use to pull up the rudder. It goes right through the top post. And Eric is tying it in to the actual rudder blade. Again, you'll use this to pull the rudder up onto the deck. Easy. And then just keep that rope uh, back in the boat where you'll have access to it when you need it. Just keep it underneath our shock cords. Securely attach it over on the side so it's not in the way.
perfect. And as you can see, it's a different color, so you won't mess them up. Yeah. There we go. A rudder. Done.